Today's episode is kindly sponsored by Squarespace. I'm 56 years old and regularly get asked about my best anti-aging skincare and makeup tips, and today I'm sharing them all with you. Hi, I'm Leonie and welcome to my channel. I must say one of my most asked questions is skincare or makeup related, despite the fact that most of my content here on YouTube is fashion. But today I thought that I would share some of those simple tips and tricks that I have learned over the years. I know that a lot of them I've actually picked up from my years working in magazines and working as a fashion and beauty magazine editor. So some of them I have had with me for a very long time and others I've picked up recently. But I do have a number that I want to share with you today. So if you would like to see what they are and potentially if you do use some of these tips and tricks, you can look 10 years younger. And I know that's subjective. I know that I'll probably come under fire for saying this, but I have found these tips and tricks to be super helpful and I'm sure you will too. Now first up, and this is probably my favorite skincare secret of all, and it's one that I've been following and doing for a number of years. But interestingly, it's recently blown up on TikTok and that is slubbing. Now, strange word, I know, but basically all it means is that you add a protective layer over your skincare lineup. And all that protective layer does is it locks in the moisture and enables your skincare products to work a little harder. Now, it sounds confusing, but it is not. Simply put, now let me just grab the product that I've been using of late. I started years ago using simple Vaseline petroleum jelly. In the last couple of years, I've started using CeraVe, which I find the best. I also use an Aquaphor product as well. Also, I will link all of the products that I mentioned down in the description box below. So this product, I think I bought it in Walmart recently when I was in the States. It's about maybe $9. It's really cheap. And essentially all you do is do your evening skincare routine. So for me, I cleanse, I tone, I then put on a serum and then a moisturizer. And directly over that moisturizer, I put a small layer of this CeraVe ointment. And as I said, all that does is it locks everything in and it makes sure that your skincare products don't end up on your pillow and don't do what they're supposed to do on your face. Now, I find this is a super moisturizing and a great thing to do. My skin feels amazing in the morning and it's really cost effective because as I said, these products are super cheap. So I recommend giving it a go. The key for me is to cleanse your face and then apply your skincare products as normal and then just use a very thin layer of this product all over your face. Hop into bed and you will wake up with beautiful, clean, plump, nourished skin in the morning. Let me know in the comments below if you do this already and if you don't, if you give it a go, I would love to hear how you get on. I think you'll be surprised at how beautiful your skin feels in the morning. Now on that note, one of my best kept secrets has been to use a cleansing balm. And I've always been surprised about cleansing balms not really kind of getting the spotlight that I think they deserve. So essentially, I use all sorts of different cleansing balms. At the moment, I'm using a New Zealand cleansing balm from a company called Glow Lab. You can buy it in the supermarket. It's really affordable. The other cleansing balm that I use and unfortunately left in the hotel back in the US, and that is a Clinique cleansing balm. As I said, I'll link these products in the description box below. But cleansing balms are amazing. They're great for two reasons. They don't strip your skin of its natural moisture, and they also remove every single skerrick of your makeup. So they cleanse your skin beautifully, but as I said, they're not pulling out all of the natural moisture. So all you do with a cleansing balm, and I think this has been part of the problem with people sort of getting their heads around these balms, is you simply grab a little bit on your fingertips, you rub it into your hands and kind of warm up the product, and then you put it onto your face on a dry skin. As I said, it goes over your eyes, it goes over your foundation, it removes all of your makeup. So you gently sort of mess massage that into your skin and then simply use some warm water to rinse it off. I also use one of these takeoff towels, which I find super handy. I do use the cleansing balm with it. The takeoff towel is designed to be used on its own, but I find using the two together works really well. But the cleansing balm takes 
everything off and leaves your skin feeling really nourished. And I think that that's an important part when it comes to mature skin. You've got to do everything you can to not drag out all of that natural moisture because if you are over 30, 40, you will know that that moisture is something that just gets lost really quickly. So we want to hold on to that. So cleansing balm won't strip your skin. It is a must for me to use when it comes to cleansing my skin at night. Now, another product that I have started using recently is the Peak BT Fountain. Now, if you've been watching me for a while, you'll know that I've worked with Peak in the past. And as I said, I've recently started using their products. And this one is great because I always struggle drinking enough water. And of course, we all know that we need to drink enough water to make sure that our skin and our body isn't dehydrated. Now, these little, little, what would you call them, sachets, hold all sorts of goodies for your skin that essentially nourish your skin from within. So they contain ceramides and hyaluronic acid, which is perfect for plumping up your skin. So I've been taking a couple of these a day and adding them to my water. So it's kind of a double whammy. It means that it's nourishing my skin from within, but it's also meaning that I'm getting that water intake up as well. Now, I'm not sure if my discount code still works, but I will leave some details for peak in the description description box below and certainly if it is working I will leave that down there too but definitely I think it's worth giving a go this type of product that's going to help you moisturize and maintain that moisture level and when it's hard to drink water this sort of product really helps out and at this point, I'd just like to say a very big thank you to the team at Squarespace for sponsoring this portion of today's episode. Squarespace is an amazing way to build any sort of online presence. I have a Squarespace blog and I have used Squarespace for a number of years with client blogs and websites because it is the easiest way to not only build a website, but to maintain it. And after all, that's often a really difficult thing to do. It's okay to get someone to build your website, but if you need to update it, you need something that is really simple and effective to use. And in my experience, Squarespace is the way to go. So if you are interested in launching yourself online this year, then what I would suggest you do is whip on over to squarespace.com, take advantage of their free trial. When you're ready to launch yourself online, simply use my unique URL, which is squarespace.com forward slash the Style Insider and my code, which is the Style Insider. And that will save you 10% off your first website or domain with Squarespace. I can hand on heart recommend Squarespace. So if you are looking to get online this year, definitely check out Squarespace. I will leave a link in the description box below so that you can whip on over and take a look at it when you've finished watching today's episode. Now next up, one of the best things you can do for your skin is exfoliate. And one of the great things about exfoliating is that it means that once you remove those dead skin cells off the top layers of your skin, you essentially give the products that you're using, the serums and the moisturizers, more of a chance to actually penetrate the skin and do what they're meant to do. If you're skin has a whole lot of dead skin cells sitting on top, then your makeup isn't going to sit nicely and also your skincare products don't get a chance to work. So I have recently kind of bought into the hype of the brand The Ordinary. I've started using this as a once a week gentle kind of chemical peel. So I might need my glasses for this, so hang on. Let me just read this. So essentially it's an AHA 30%, BHA 2% peeling solution. So it's a chemical peel in effect that is very gentle, gentle enough to use at home. And what I do is put a couple of drops on my hands, on my fingers, rub it in, and then simply massage it into my skin. It has to be dry skin. It's not advised to use this product on wet skin. I'm not sure about other exfoliants, but this one you use on dry skin. You have to be careful not to get it near your eye area. And then you leave it on for kind of no longer than 10 minutes, rinse it off, and you immediately feel that your skin is baby soft and beautiful. So as I said, I've been using this once a week. I haven't had any reaction to it, except it's made my skin feel and look amazing. So I've always been a big fan of exfoliating for the reasons I just mentioned, but this is a new product that I am finding easy to use and really effective. Now, one of my other secrets involves what I do when it comes to foundation. Now, I, for a number of years now, used a shimmer product and I mix a couple of drops into my foundation and apply them both 
at the same time. This makes my foundation go on a whole lot smoother and it gives a really flawless finish and it also gives that sort of luminous glassy almost skin. Now I don't want my skin to look shiny or oily but it does just give it a little bit of luminosity which in my opinion is quite a youthful look. So the shimmer product that I'm using at the moment is this one from I think they're called Raw Cosmetics. I will link a few of my other favorites in the description box below but I love these products because they are simple to add to your everyday foundations regardless of what foundation you use and it just gives your skin a little bit of an instant lift. And speaking of foundation there is a foundation that I have recently discovered and it's called Jones Road. Now Jones Road is a brand that is has been started by Bobbi Brown. So Bobbi Brown started her beauty makeup company many years ago. She's since sold the company and started up a brand called Jones Road. Now I bought this foundation when I was in LA at the beginning of the year. As you can see I've used quite a bit of it. Now the thing about Jones Road is that it is a product that is designed for mature skin. It has an interesting smell. I particularly like it. I know that it's a bit polarizing. Some people do, some people don't. But this is almost, it's like a foundation with a moisturizer mixed in. So it goes on and leaves your skin feeling and looking really luminous and really sort of plump and youthful. Now, if you have oily prone skin, you might find this one a little bit too heavy. But certainly for me, I have dry skin and I think this one is fab. Now, I tend to use a MAC foundation if I want some more coverage for a sort of a fuller coverage but this one is great just for every day. It covers up my imperfections and is easy to apply. I don't mix my shimmer product in with this because you don't need it but if you are looking for a foundation that just does give you that sort of youthful glow then definitely check out the Jones Road foundations. I highly recommend them. Now another little trick of the trade that I have been doing for a number of years is mixing a tiny little bit of eye cream with my under eye concealer and I don't know about you but as I've got older I find that no matter what concealer brand I use it always gets trapped in my fine lines under my eyes. If I add a tiny bit of eye cream to that concealer it stops that happening but it still gives me that nice bit of coverage that I need as my skin is kind of getting thinner and more translucent under my eyes. So just adding a tiny amount of eye cream to your concealer it works really well. If that's not something that works for you, I have found another product when I was recently in the States. Now this is a really affordable Maybelline product. I think bought this from Walmart. Now it's a four in, in one glow and it's in effect a foundation but it has this sponge tip. So essentially all you need to do is sort of dab it around your under eye area and with your a little pinky finger or your ring finger simply sort of dab it around the under eye area and it works as a perfect lightweight concealer and it has that built-in glow which isn't going to give you shine because obviously you don't want shine because that will highlight those fine lines but it just gives a plumped up sort of nourished look to that under eye area. Now this product is I can't remember how much I paid for this. I will link it in the description box below though because it is such a winner and it's a really good one just to keep in your purse too because I don't know about you, sometimes if I'm out and about and I just need to sort of kind of cover up a few little spots and add a little bit more foundation, this is great for that as well. It's kind of all you need to carry with you and as I said, it's a really good replacement for the trick of adding moisturizer or a little bit of eye cream to your concealer. So definitely give this one a go. It's a goodie. Another trick that I have been using for a while now is to replace my black mascara to brown and I've just received this Natio one to try. I'm going to give it a go but I have a couple of mascaras that I absolutely love. A few different brands that I find work really well for me and don't go all clumpy but yet give my lashes enough length and volume and I think that's another thing too that it's important not to just go too crazy with your mascara and especially try and find a good one that isn't clumpy and leaves your eyelashes looking all spidery. So I'm going to give this Natio one a go. But as I said, the key is to, I think as you get a little bit older, 
change out or swap out your black mascara for a brown. It's just a little bit kinder, a little bit softer, but yet still does the trick to highlight and give your lashes a bit of a wow factor. Now I can't create a video like this without also mentioning in salon treatments that I have and I've been a regular fan of Botox and I don't have anything to hide about that. I love getting a little bit of Botox in my frown here, which I think I kind of need a top up at the moment. And I sometimes get a little bit across my forehead because when I lift my eyebrows I do tend to get lines across my forehead. Now for me without any fringe or bangs my forehead is very much on display so I tend to feel that I just like having some of those lines knocked out. I think it's important for me not to go too far but Botox is something that I will always continue to use because I love the fact that it just freshens up my face. Also when I tend to get just a little bit here it does lift my eyes a little opens them up slightly or just sort of gives that illusion of just a little bit of lift here which makes me feel a little bit more awake and less grumpy which is a very good thing. The other salon treatment that I have regularly is microneedling and if you don't know much about this treatment it's basically giving your skin thousands of little tiny punctures. It's not a pleasant treatment but the results are incredible. So it gives your skin a little tiny bit of damage all over and then your skin does its natural thing and plumps it up and throws collagen to the area and repairs and during that repair process it basically rejuvenates your skin. So microneedling is something that I don't particularly like getting done. I would much prefer to go and get a beautiful zen-like facial but I'm kind of at the age now at 56 that I need something that's a little bit more heavy hitting. So microneedling and the Botox are two in salon treatments that I will continue to have regularly. Now another product that I use and swear by is Revitalash and it is essentially a lash growth serum. I've tried a number of different lash growth serums. They all tend to work okay or certainly the ones that I've tried but I keep going back to Revitalash. It's a little bit more expensive than some of the others but it works really well. I don't get any kind of sensitivity or reaction to it and it seems to last a bit longer than the others as well. What I do tend to find is I recently had some lash extensions put on because I was traveling to the States and I find no matter where you go they do tend to damage your own natural lashes or it kind of the fallout of your natural lashes seems to happen a little bit, bit more with the extensions. So I tend to not go for extensions that often. So they've recently come out and I'm still using my Revital Lash just to bring my lashes back from the brink. I've also just recently started using a product from Shiseido. It's an eye, what is it called? It's called a power infusing eye concentrate and essentially this is great because it is an eye cream but it also helps to nourish and promote growth of your lashes as well and I love these multitasking products that do two things in one it's going to nourish and moisturize my under eye area but it's also going to do the same thing to my lashes so I've been using this in conjunction with Revitalash and the two have become my newest dynamic duo. Now another product that I absolutely swear by is a retinol type product and one that I have recently been sent is a Cora natural retinol like product. Now I've just started giving this a go and it seems great. I will let you know how I get on with it but I do have a few retinol products that I find really good. Now you do have to be careful with any retinol products you need to start slowly and just start small as well because often these products are quite hard hitting and if you're prone to getting a little bit of a reaction these are going to give it to you. But essentially any retinol products which are basically a high strength vitamin A is an essential for mature skin and so too is a vitamin C product. And these are just generally found in serums or well yeah, these kind of concentrate type products. If you haven't tried them before, you will definitely notice some changes in your skin. They are great for reducing pigmentation and also nourishing and locking in that moisture and firmness and also helping to disguise fine lines. I do keep seeing dermatologists talk about the two key products that you need to be using if you have mature skin and that is the vitamin A and vitamin C products. So definitely look at including a 
vitamin C or vitamin A type product into your lineup if you're over 40 at least. Now I know today's video has been all about beauty and skincare, but if you'd like your fashion fix and you would like to see how to wear some of spring's top trends, then click or tap on the screen here and I'll see you there.